Hello, uh, so my name's Ollie, Ollie Ward, and uh, I am the Children's and Youth Ministry Lecturer here at Regents Theological College, um, and I get the privilege of leading the Limitless Academy. Um, and this is a, a three-year full-time or a six-year part-time degree course where we're thinking about uh, theology uh, in the context of working with children and young people. Uh, and the point of the course really uh, is is there are many things uh, but one of the things that really drives me is I remember when I was in a church service somewhere in the UK and uh, the leader of the service got up and announced that it was time for the children and young people to leave um, and this little kid walked along the front and fell over on their face like poof, face plant the carpet um, and then this other slightly older kid came back for them and, and picked them up took hold of their hand and walked off with them to Sunday school or wherever they were going and God said to me, who is going to walk with this generation? Who is going to be there to hold their hand um, and lead them? And it was a it was a bit of a kind of like a wake up call, I suppose, or a commissioning for me personally. But it's also something that I think we're starting to see now in churches and contexts around the UK that there are young people and children that need people to walk alongside them, to take their hand and walk alongside them. And anyone can do that, right? You don't, you don't need um, training for that necessarily. But the reason the course is there is because we want to do that in the pattern of God. We want to do that not in the way that seems right to us, but in the way that would seem right to God and would be what the Spirit is doing amongst children and young people. It reminds me of um, in Deuteronomy, where God is talking to the Israelites and telling them what it's going to be like when they go into the promised land. And God says something like, um, at the moment you're doing whatever looks right to you or, or feels right to you, but your pattern for worship will change when you get into this promised land. I, I give you rest. Um, and that's picked up again, obviously, in Judges uh, later on, where they haven't got a king. And it says there was no king in Israel at that time, and so the people did whatever is right in their own eyes. And so we, we don't want to do what seems right in our own eyes when we're working with young people and children. We want to do what seems right to God. What's, what's the God pattern? Um, and so we're thinking theologically about youth ministry and children's ministry. Um, and that looks like a number of different things, right? It looks like a professional development module at every level of the course. Um, so what we offer students is if they're, if they're a co uh, campus students, they come and live on site. Um, with us here and we would help them find a placement context be that in a school or uh, a church or a, a secular context or in a health um, care setting somewhere where they can physically walk alongside young people right be alongside young people listen to young people learn from young people um, and and learn practical skills and I think it's really important that our practice with children and young people is professional is safe um, and that we're giving children and young people our best, right? And, and, and so we would look at professional development across this one module every year. Uh, we look at things like uh, ethics, working with young people and children. We look at things like teaching um, and learning practices and pedagogies. And we'd also then look at leadership and how to lead well in those contexts. Um, and that's one aspect I love about the course is that it is, it is very practical, right? So you're, you're studying, um, in the library and you're studying books and, and you're reading and thinking deeply but you're also literally taking the hand of, of young people and children and walking alongside them in a context somewhere um, and if you're a context student so you live in a, in a local context somewhere in the UK um, then that's usually with a some sort of church or community um, venue that you have a pre-existing relationship with um, and we would help you then work out what that looks like for your placement here um, and you stay there, you can carry on ministering and being in that context, but still thinking deeply um, and studying youth and children's ministry as you do that. So that's one of the things we offer. Um, the other kind of aspect or part of the course, really, is that every at every level of study, you'd also have a youth specific module or children specific module. So you're you're thinking or or reflecting on some specific aspect of working with children and young people. Um, so in, in the first year, that's culture and context, then adolescent faith development, um, and then the philosophy of ministry and different ministry models. Um, and the point of that is, as we said earlier, just, just to think, okay, what is, 
what's what's God doing amongst children and young people? What's the culture like? What's it like to be a young person at a school? Um, how do we help them theologize that context and see God at work there? Um, what's it like to what's it like to learn? What have other people said about learning theories and how young people and children absorb information and grow and develop? Um, how do we how do we help them do that theologically? Um, and then also what, what are the different ways that people throughout history have ministered to young people and sought to engage with children and young people? What can we learn from that? Um, and what might be the contemporary innovative models, ways that we need to engage uh, young people in the future? So that's, that's hope, hopefully what we're trying to do uh, on the course here. My interests are um, many. Um, as I'm sure lots of people could say. I, my, deg my degrees are in theology and performing arts, um, mostly. So I, I have come from a kind of like performance background, but I've always been working with young people. Um, I was a youth worker for a little bit. I then led youth theatres um, and went around the country leading drama workshops and working with young people. And I think I've, I've been a youth worker basically since my youth leader asked me to help him run the kids group at a church when I was about 15. Um, and ever since then I work, I've worked with young people. And my interests are uh, in practical theology. So theology that engages with um, social sciences and with um, like practical ministry with children and with young people. Um, I'm also really interested in theological anthropology, which sounds pretty cool, right? Um, but it's essentially theological reflection on what it means to be human. Um, and including that like faith development and identity development of children um, and, and young people. Um, and then I'm obviously also really interested in performing arts um, and kind of creative communication and ways to engage uh, people creatively.